have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain plays alongside Thiago in central midfield. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. And good pressure high up the pitch. Andres Silva must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Showing excellent vision. He just needs to keep a cool head. Well, the post got in the way. And clears the danger. Mo Salah. Will they get themselves level here? It's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. And Liverpool are level. Well, here it is again. And having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. Andres Silva, long way out this. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Alexander Arnold. On to Sana. Could be. Oh, goodness me, he's hit the post. He succeeds in clearing it. Gives it a go. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Can they create something? And it is full time. Liverpool will be taking a lead with them into the return leg. Well, it's a slender lead, but one I think they deserve. They were certainly the more fluid team in possession. But the second leg will be just as tight. And I would say it's 50-50 who will advance. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.